Hey guys, what's up? It's time to make another video to keep my channel active. I know I haven't done a lot of stuff lately, and that's just because, honestly, I've been um, pretty sick this year, and I just haven't felt like showing myself, I guess. I think it's like showing on my face a lot, so I haven't felt like making a lot of videos or doing anything. Anyway, it's about uh, 12 a.m. right now, uh, se or September. <laughs> that's how out of it I am. It's about um, July uh, 11th, 12 a.m. Anyway, I want to do a bit of a video talking about, um, like a follow-up to that one video I made last year, the burden, supposedly burden of being attractive, right? Because I just think that's an important topic. At least it's an important topic to me, of course, because it comes up a lot in my daily life. Um, and that video was brought about because uh, there was a video of uh, this like cat calling video or something, like 10 hours in New York or something like that. And... Um, just in general, you know, a lot of people, they talk about, oh, it's so awful to be, you know, um, hit on and everything like that, like the burden of being attractive. I just think it's really kind of awful. So, and anyway, so I'll put a link to the description to my first video, but I want to, my this is going to be a follow-up to that video, and basically I'm going to expand on that, how I actually think, if anything, it's kind of healthy to objectify people sometimes, and hopefully you'll, you'll get, hopefully watch the whole video before you, like, totally judge me I guess do you know what I mean so I'm gonna try to get uh, why I think it's actually kind of healthy and get into a healthy aspect of it and uh, another perspective but anyway basically the last thing was and again of course I know I have like a, an extreme life I guess you know what I mean because I've been on both sides but you know background for a backdrop obviously you know I had a bad life growing up um, you know I was abused always told how ugly I was, how worthless I knew how worthless I was growing up how I would never be anything you know what I mean I did not come from a very uh, positive environment growing up, you know what I mean, it was very negative, um, and of course then I was like bullied at school, I had like rocks thrown at my face, um, girls used to tell me how ugly I was in front of the class, you know what I mean, and that was not a, not a, not a positive experience either, right, but then of course, you know, as time went on, I became, you know, supposedly good looking, right, and, uh, you know, I got a job as a model, and, uh, I guess I'm lucky enough to say I've experienced a lot of uh, different kind of compliments that I'm sure that no other people will get to experience. You know, girls following me around the airport, you know, having my autograph passport, just tons and tons of stuff. But anyway, so basically what I was trying to say in the last video was, though, that um, when you, when I, when I was earlier, anyone else like that, that has been bullied before something like that, when you're judged like that, objectified like that, that is completely negative. There is no positive side to that, right? Whereas now, you know what I mean, at least when someone thinks that you're good looking or something like that, at least there's a positive side to that, right? Jimmy? And there are negatives, obviously, right? I mean, dude, I've had so many, I've had a ton of negative things happen to me, you know what I mean, which I'm going to get into in this video too, you know what I mean? Girls tell me they won't be my friend unless I have sex with them, so they make up lies, you know what I mean? I get constant like really mean messages for no reason right and i'm going to keep going on to this later but you know what i mean and of course and i know like the whole idea is like the cat calling thing like a girl doesn't know who's going to the guy might be a total creep coming up to her right who knows right he might be a bad dude but the idea is you can't judge someone before you know them right you know what i mean it shouldn't be a burden someone telling you that they like you or that they're attracted to you that shouldn't be a burden right that should be a good thing, um, you know what I mean? Because I don't think anyone hits on someone from a negative place in their heart. Does that make sense? Do you know what I mean? Like no one is hitting on anyone because they, I don't think it comes from a negative place, right? Do you know what I mean? Like obviously something bad could happen, but I mean, you can't judge someone without knowing them at first. Do you get what I'm saying? And so at least there's a positive to being judged like that. Do you know what I mean? Like. It, hopefully you get what I'm trying to say, you know, I mean, obviously it was good and bad, but it's not a completely negative experience, I guess. Anyway, so, um, and I actually want to touch on that, another aspect of this, why I actually think it's actually healthy to actually objectify in a way, because if you have no desire to actually flirt with anyone that you want, that you, that if you have no desire to actually tell someone that they're attracted, or, you know what I mean, that's actually, I think that's a bad sign, and of course, again, I've had an extreme life, but another perspective would be that, um, obviously being sick, I've been in the hospital dying before, you know what I mean, I've just, hell, not even dying at points, you just feel so low, 
And you know, I mean, there are times when you feel like um, no emotion whatsoever. Do you know what I mean? Like you are completely like dead on the inside. Do you know what I mean? Like from being so sick at certain times. Do you know what I mean? So, and just like regular, like I, I know I've talked about this a lot with the low testosterone stuff that happens when you're sick, but um, a lot of times, like I need some excitement. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like to want to have sex. Like a lot of times, I'll just be kind of like I've been with girls that are good looking, but I just don't give a fuck. A lot of times, do you know what I mean? It's like, and I'm just saying that because think of the perspective that like you were. I felt the I've had such the extreme highs and lows that you know what I mean. Being in the hospital, it's like you don't when you're like dying. You're not. There's no like. There's no desire for sex or anything like that. I mean, you can still, like, recognize that maybe someone's attractive, but you just don't, you don't have, there's no, like, emotion inside of you anymore. Like, if you, you know what I mean? If you don't have a desire for anything, and if you've never had a desire to see a girl and, like, flirt with her or something like that, that means something is wrong. So I'm trying to say that in that I think that, you know, wanting to flirt with someone and wanting to hit on them and objectify them in a way is actually healthy because if you don't want to have sex or anything like that, I can tell you, I've had times where I don't feel anything and that's not a healthy feeling, you know what I mean? And like, I know these are like, it's hard to, uh, I have such like an extreme life, it's hard to like, you know, get my brain, but um, you know, one of the things is too, when you, just like when you flirt with someone and like talk with someone, you know what I mean? Like that can just be like, I'm sure people have, have you ever just like flirt with someone and you tell them like, God, you're so fucking hot. I'd love to, I want to make you, you know, I always say that, right? You know, you can look someone in the eyes and like flirt with them, like, you know, say something confidently, you know, or sexy, right? That makes you feel good inside too. It should feel good to flirt with someone, I think, you know what I mean? And obviously if they didn't like it, then they didn't like it, right? But I don't think you, I don't think anyone flirts with someone like hoping that something bad is going to happen. Do you know what I mean? Just like if someone comes to flirt with you, I don't think you should automatically assume they're a bad guy because wanting to flirt with someone, it shows you're healthy. Trust me, as someone who's been, has time where I just feel complete nothingness, do you know what I mean? No desire for anything, do you know what I mean? Like, it's healthy to want to, like, fuck people, do you know what I mean? I'm not saying that in a bad way, but I'm <laughs> just saying, do you know what I mean? It's healthy to want to have sex, like, I don't know. So I don't think, obviously bad things can't happen, do you know what I mean? But I don't think we should judge everyone, and I think we should give everyone at least a chance, because there's a lot of times, like I said, and you know, I've been in the hospital, you know, I'm sure there's just people, they just wish someone would flirt with them, or give them, or like compliment them, right? Because I can tell you, it's pretty lonely being in the hospital, having life or death conversations all the time, do you know what I mean? Like, not everyone has like the kind of will that I do have, you know, that I force myself to be really healthy, you know what I mean? But you know what I mean? It could be way worse off. At least, you know what I mean? Like, at least there's a positive side to this. It's not completely negative. But anyway, I'm going to take a drink of water. Anyway, but I mean, an actual burden of being attractive. And again, and I'm not saying any of this that I think I'm that cool, right? You know what I mean? Because I don't. But like an actual like burden of being like attractive is just I would say like the cliche thing. Do you know what I mean? Like people automatically think you're dumb or you know what I mean? Like I said that I'd get messages, people think I'm automatically a bad person. And I think that morally, if you are if you are at that level that you are supposedly attractive enough that you might be judged in a way that oh someone might think you're dumb or that you might think you're full of yourself. Excuse me. Sorry, like I said, I've been pretty sick. Anyway, like I said, if you're actually that attractive, I think, where you could be like, some people might think you're full of yourself or something like that, I feel like you actually kind of like owe it to everyone to be more friendly. Do you know what I mean? Like morally, because people are already looking for a reason to hate you because they're going to think that you have a easy life for some reason. I mean, do you know what I mean? Like... So fucking stupid, right? People are going to automatically think that you're a bad person. Do you know what I mean? So I think you owe it to everyone else that might be in your position to be nice. Show that you are a good person, I think. Um, 
friendly, you know what I mean? I don't want to have sex with every girl that comes up to me or when some gay guy hits on me, you know what I mean? But I can still be courteous enough, you know, to have a conversation with them and talk to them. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, like a burden is like everyone thinking that you're a bad person. And plus, and you know, and to say that, you know, and sometimes there are like, sometimes, you know, there, I do know girls that have been models that actually are pretty fucking shitty people, right? But I do know some that are just like sweet girls, right? That are nice. Just like I know normal supposedly persons that are nice people and supposedly some that are just, you know, nicer. I don't remember if I said nice at first. Some that are nice and some that are bad. You know what I mean? It just is, um, you can't judge someone without knowing them, right? And uh, I just feel like, I don't know, like, it's like when you like, all this like negative hate and negative vibe just makes people more negative. Do you know what I mean? It's like, throw some like positive vibes or something because people are looking for a reason to hate each other, I think, like that. So, um, and I mean, uh, on that aspect too, because a lot of times, um, and this might make me sound kind of bad, right? But hopefully you'll get what I'm trying to say, right? Um, a lot of times, too, I actually will, like... Uh, and, of course, like, when a girl... Obviously, not even a girl, just anyone. You can understand that some people are, like, a little cautious of people, have their guard up, and that is okay. But, you know, sometimes, you know, I talk to these people, and uh, I should say that I'm not... I'm not a super confident person, like, from first impression-wise. You know what I mean? Like I said, I don't think I'm that cool, but I'm actually, like... If I'm in a good mood, I'm pretty confident I can be pretty charismatic, actually. Like, I can be pretty funny, and I can have, I can pretty much have any kind of conversations, you know what I mean? Especially because of the stuff I've been through in my life, so I can have a fun conversation. I can have a fucking super real-life, life-or-death kind of conversation, do you know what I mean? So, and I'm saying that, it's like, I've met and known a lot of girls that have told me before that they hated me at first, right? But then, you know, uh, they love me and they want to get married, right? And I'm not, even saying that, I'm, not even, I'm not saying that to brag, but I'm just trying to say that for a basis of why I can say this. So, you know, I'm pretty confident that I can be pretty charming when I'm in a good mood, you know? So, but, you know, some of these girls, too, you know, I actually feel like sticking it to them because the ones that really are bad people, because, too, like, like I said, being sick, too, a lot of times you can turn my sex drive like I mean some of these girls they might think they're good looking but you know what I mean I can be like you know I can really quickly lose sexual attraction for someone like you can only like a few few strikes and then it's like completely over for you and I just mean that sometimes I will actually try to stick it to these girls that I know are kind of like assholes like um again not trying to make this not trying to make this make me sound bad but hopefully you'll get the vibe I'm trying to say so, you know, you'll meet a girl and, you know, I just know they don't trust me for some reason. Like, they think I'm actually a bad guy. And I will keep talking to them, you know what I mean? And it takes them a long time to, like, open up, right? And then, of course, while this goes on, and let's say at first I did think they're attractive, you know what I mean? But eventually it's like, you know what I mean? Like, okay, I can just tell you're a fucking, like, you're not a nice person. Like, the problem is you, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm a bit of a masochist, right? And I just like, I like to prove, I like to kill people with kindness sometimes and just prove that, like, prove to them that it's them. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, really stick it to them, right? And of course, you know, so we keep hanging out, we keep talking. And like, they might not even know at this point, I honestly, I honestly don't even, would never even have sex with you because you're just such a negative person, right? But I'll keep talking because, you know, I'm willing to be friends, right? And then let's say, you know what I mean, like some of these girls, you know, like I said, they end up saying like, oh God, I love you now, whatever, blah, 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 you know, what I mean? before you've even done anything. And it's just kind of like, dude, honestly, dude, I'm not even like attracted to you anymore. I just thought you were such like a, <laughs> this makes me sound really bad, right? I just thought you were such a negative person. I just wanted to show you that, you know what I mean? It's you and you need to lighten up, you know what I mean? Because look, you threw all these negative vibes on me. And of course, like one of the things that blows girls' minds is, you know what I mean? Not only do they think, you know, I'm a bad person, a lot of times, you know, you'll talk to someone and then they're like, whoa, you're sick. You've been dying. You were like in the hospital before we were hanging out just now. Like, what? It's like, yeah, dude. You know what I mean? And just like, fucking mind is blown. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And it's just like, I don't know. Do you get something like, sometimes I just, I feel like sticking it to these girls. I mean, I guess I kind of do. Do you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm not trying to say like I make them like me, but I make them. I'm pretty good at, I guess, like I said, the kill you with kindness thing. A lot of times I'll do that, you know what I mean? Like I said, a lot of times, you know, I'll just keep talking to them, you know, and honestly, because I'm pretty fine with just being friends with girls, you know what I mean? Like, uh, so it's pretty easy for me to, like, 
I'm just not attracted to you anymore. I just, you know, I'm fine with being friends and I just wanted to show that it was you or something like that. Does that make sense? So a lot of times I just feel like people, they need to look in the mirror. Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of times when it's not the other person, it's you. Do you know what I mean? Because do you get what I'm trying to say? I don't know. Like I said, that might, maybe that maybe sound kind of like a asshole or something. I wasn't trying to say that. But anyway, so that's my perspective. Do you know what I mean? I wasn't, um, you know, uh, I think it's morally, like I said, uh, a lot of times, you know, if you have no desire to flirt with anyone, that's bad. Because you know what I mean? I know when my sex drive dies, when my, when my health is really bad, I'm like, wow, dude, this is not healthy. Because you know what? I have gone times from being like horny, obviously, well, before I was sick, right? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's times you want to have sex with girls, and there's other times you like you can recognize someone's attractive. It's like, dude, I do not have the desire to do anything right now. I'm just so sick, and like, there are times when you're like completely emotionless from being sick, right? And so that's why I'm just saying, like, in a way, objective being able to objectify someone actually, I think, is a sign of being healthy. Now, obviously, you can objectify someone in a bad way. But it does not have to be a bad way, right? You know what I mean? Just the act of finding someone attractive and wanting to have sex with them, you know, that does not mean you're or they are automatically a creeper or something like that. Do you know what I mean? They could be. There's a lot of mean people. Like I said, I've met girls I thought were nice, completely fuck, completely awful people, right? Just like I've met dudes that I thought were nice, completely awful dudes. But you know what? I've met people that maybe I thought were Actually, I'm not really, I don't really, I don't really judge people too badly, but obviously, you know, other people, I'm sure they've met people that maybe they thought were bad at first, but then are good, right? You know what I mean? I'm just saying, you know, you got to give people a chance. Don't be full of yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe it is annoying, dude. I get hundreds of messages a day, you know what I mean? And I still try to reply to everyone. Do I want to have sex with every person that messages me? No, I don't. But you know what I mean? I can still be nice and, like, talk to them, you know what I mean? And, like, show that I'm, I can extend my friendship i guess you know but anyway um that's enough for everyone like i said i haven't made a lot of videos lately because i've just been i've been really sick and uh like i said i think it shows you could probably tell my hair has been pretty bad but uh i've been losing a lot of hair sick uh trouble working out dizzy and uh you know this past this year has really caught up to me i know my doctor said i pushed myself too hard so i don't know what i'm gonna do i need to kind of like toning down the working out and all that kind of stuff lately because uh like i said my health has not been that great this year so anyway i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to make some more videos but like i said i just haven't really felt very good about myself so i haven't been feeling like making videos but uh anyway uh hopefully you guys got what i said and hopefully you actually watched this video before you commented because i had a couple people comment on the last video and even messaged me and they started like talking to me about it and it was completely obvious they had no idea what I, I, what I said in that video. I was like, dude, did you watch anything I said? And all this one girl messaged me. She's like, no, I just thought you were cute. And I read the title. So I thought you were saying something. I was like, dude, <laughs> like, I don't know. That's actually kind of why I made this, because some girl reminded me about the last video. But anyway. So anyway, yeah, uh, hopefully you actually watched the video if you comment before you think <laughs> before you think you know what I said. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Dan.